Hey everybody, so in this video, we're going to create a shopping cart program. A user is going to be able to type in an item, set a price for each, and then ask for a quantity. The output is that it's going to give you a total based on the price and how much you're buying. This would be a good exercise for us to get us more comfortable with accepting user input. All right, let's get started, everybody. We'll need the help of a scanner. The scanner allows us to accept user input. We'll need to import that at the top, so be sure that you have this line of code import java.util.scanner. We'll create a scanner object. Scanner, scanner equals new scanner. Parentheses semicolon, type system.in. Then if we open a scanner, it's good practice to close it when we're done with it. Scanner.close. If you leave resources open, it can lead to unexpected behavior. When creating a project, I like to declare all of my variables at the top. Let's say we have an item name. That data type is going to be a string. String item. What are we buying exactly? We need a price. That would be a double. Because there might be dollars and cents. A quantity. How many of something are we buying? Int quantity. Pick a unit of currency. This could be a character. Char currency. I'm going to initialize this right away. American dollars. And then a total. We're going to multiply the price by the quantity to give a total. Double total. Now, if you would like, you can initialize some of these right away and assign them. For example, let's say we are at a pizza restaurant. I could set the item to be pizza right away. Or within this program, we could fill it in. Let's create some prompts. I'll use system.out.print. What item would you like to buy? Then let's accept user input. We're going to assign our string of item equal to use our scanner object and use the next line method. Then let's just print it to verify that it's working. What item would you like to buy? Maybe this time I am buying a hamburger. That will output hamburger. We know that we can get user input. So let's delete this line. I was just testing it. Let's ask for a price. You could set an initial price if you would like, or we could ask for one, depending on how you want to write this program. So let's system.out.print what is the price for each? If we're working with a price, a double, we'll use the next double method. We're going to assign our price equal to use our scanner dot next double. And then let's test it by outputting the price. Okay, let's say I'm buying a pizza this time. What is the price for each? $14.99. And that outputs $14.99. So it is a good idea every once in a while to test your code just to be sure that it all works as you go along. Then we'll need a quantity. Let's ask how many would you like? We will assign our quantity variable equals scanner dot next int since we're working with whole numbers this time then let's test our quantity to see if it works i don't know maybe i'm buying a hot dog this time what is the price per each 4.99 how many would you like i would like 12 hot dogs 12 and i'm just going to make sure i'm using print instead of print line just because i think it looks better now we'll create a total. We don't need user input for that. We're going to use the variables that we've already had after assigning them. Total equals the price times the quantity. And then I will just test the total. Maybe I'm buying a pizza or pizzas. Each is $14.99 and I'm buying three of them. 
44.97. Instead, let's output the following. I'm going to use a new line character just to separate our output from the prompts. You have bought plus our variable of quantity plus a space character plus our variable item. But it might be more than one, so let's say slash s. It might be pizza or pizzas. Then we will display the price, including the unit of currency. Your total is, I'll add our unit of currency. It's a character. I picked American dollars, but pick whatever you would like, plus our total that we have calculated. All right, let's see the result. What item would you like to buy? I would like to buy a pizza. What is the price for each? $14.99. How many would you like? I would like eight pizzas. Maybe it's for a party. You have bought eight pizzas. Your total is $119.92. All right, everybody. So that is a shopping cart program that you can write as an exercise using Java.